Hey, everyone. I got some vectors. Even the dreaded, <gasps> the cross arm furry persona. Am I going to talk about a very controversial topic? Like that weird pedo blue derg? Or that gay Christian wolf furry? Well, no. What I am going to be talking about is noise music and why I love it. Now, many of you are going to be asking, what the fuck is noise music? Well, uh, noise music is, well, noise. It's pretty much just every single noisy aspect of life dripped in into an album or a song and then just played. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Or something like that. I don't know. But the reason why I like noise music per se is the fact that it's very unconventional. Not just in sort of like the conventions of the sound, but more like in the way they present their albums and the song titles. Like, ee, you would not like the album covers and titles. Uh, some of these are pretty, uh, pretty spicy. Yeah, pretty spicy and zesty. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's why I like about it. Yeah, you may acknowledge the very problematic aspects of these certain titles, but at the same time, that's what makes it so unconventional by every sort of standard whatsoever. Now, there's probably going to be some pretty, uh, pretty sort of like normal examples of noise musicians by any sort of noise music fan standards. Like, for example, Mersbo, Nurse with Wound, Brain Bomb, and many other uh, noise musicians. Oh, Throbbing Grizzle. Another great musician. Another reason why I like noise music is because there's actually a lot of artistic intent and atmosphere within these certain sounds. The very distorted sort of noise that you can hear either from distorting a very long orchestra or maybe distorting a very creepy ambient sort of room-like atmosphere. And once they do it, you can actually just see and hear and feel the sort of like feeling that these sort of noise musicians just put into. Maybe it's also the psychology behind the noise musician. Maybe they happen to be facing some uh, mental health problems like schizophrenia. Maybe they have neurodivergent issues like me. I mean, hey, I make noise music too. And I have some other friends who make this music as well, and we've all had our fair share of very, uh, very weird moments and weird perspectives on life. I mean, look at me. I have a very weird and obscene sense of humor. And... If you just put into the whole aspect and try to understand the whole foundation of why people make this music, you can actually see a lot of artistic integrity within these sort of albums and whatnot. Now, it's not going to be very appealing to many people who just want to listen to music just because, oh, I don't know, they just want to dance or they just want to feel something. And if you want to feel something or dance through this, there's actually some pretty rhythmic sort of form of noise music and whatnot. And also, there's probably going to be some, you know, some people are going to be jokesters and, you know, say some forms of music are noise, like metal, rap, or some weird avant-garde musician you found on Bandcamp or Discogs or some shit. But in all reality, you know, this is going to be a very pretentious way of saying this, but all music in its form, in another perspective, is noise, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's good noises and bad noises. And some people like to hear the noise. You know, it's just all about the enjoyment and the artistic intent of that certain noise. All forms of noise are music with the intention of being music. And all intentional music of being noise is noise, if you think about it. It's all about the integral, very detailed, down-to-earth sort of artistic intent of every single musician out there. And with noise musicians, they are self-aware about them being very noisy. They're noise musicians. Oh, come on. Would you actually think that they're intentionally making, oh, I don't know, classical music or jazz music and just, oh, I don't know, made it noisy? No. They're self-aware about them making noise music. That's why they call it noise. That's why they call it very noisy, abrasive, very unconventional and unappealing to the masses form of artistic intentions. That's the whole point, okay? It's all about self-awareness within noise music. And that's why I like about it also. There's a lot of self-awareness and a lot of very amazing intentions within noise music. That's what I love about it, all right? It's all about artistic intention and all about presentation. Sometimes the presentation can be very shocking, I'll admit, but it still is a pretty interesting presentation. All right, and that's what I love about it. Now, 
there's probably going to be some recommendations for noise musicians and whatnot. And if you're into punk or something, I would definitely recommend the band Brain Bomb. They're like a mixture of noise rock and garage rock. That's all I say. And with that, that's pretty much it for my first rants. It's just all improvised. So if you see some parts where I stutter and kind of mispronunciate some words, you know why. Bye-bye.